It is the product that most of you ask me questions about. How to apply it, what types are there, I'm having trouble with it, how do you line the water line. I'm going to answer all of those questions today and break down what different types of eyeliners there are and I will show you how to apply each one of them so stay tuned. The first type of eyeliner I'm going to talk about is the most common one, and that is the pencil eyeliner. And I'll go over um, a high-end brand that I really like and a low-end brand that I like. For the high-end, you guys all know that I like the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil because they're really creamy. They apply very smoothly. Um, the MAC one that I like, because normally I'm not big into the MAC eyeliners, but the Pearl Glide eyeliners, those are pretty similar to the Urban Decay ones. They're pretty creamy. And another one is Bourjois Waterproof uh, Contour Clubbing Eyeliner. And this is very creamy also, and it just glides right on. It doesn't pull on your skin at all. For the drugstore brand, I would say the one I found is Rimmel London's Soft Coal Pencil. It's not as good as the higher end ones. If you guys have a better one that you think you like, that's a drugstore brand that glides very smoothly, is very creamy, let me know. But that's the best one I found. So, how you're going to apply that eyeliner uh, is to do short strokes. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see, and hopefully my camera won't be stupid today. Okay, so what you're going to do is start at the outer part of your eye, and you're just going to do short strokes like this. And if your pencil is creamy enough, it should glide right on there. And if you want to wing it out, all you have to do is draw it and bring it out like that. Just kind of flick your wrist. The pencil ones are also best for the waterline. Do not use a liquid one. Don't use a gel one. You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. But definitely do not use a liquid eyeliner for your waterline. It will hurt your eyes, and I really don't recommend it. So use your pencil one, and I'll show you how to do the waterline. Just pull it down, and what you're going to do is just rub it on there. And I'm using the Urban Decay one, 24-7. And I like to go in all the way to the tear duct. Then what you need to do is just blink a bit, let it, keep your eyes open if you can so it dries a bit, and then you're good to go for it. A lot of you guys have questions about why it clumps here in the middle. It's probably because the eyeliner you're using is um, not the right one. So I would say try the Urban Decay one. I haven't had problems with it. Some of you guys have. It's really just a matter of finding the one that works for you. Another thing I recommend is if you have problems with your waterline smudging down, Take some powder eyeshadow and just put it all along underneath the lower lash line right here. And what that's going to do is prevent the um, creaminess of the eyeliner from melting down because that powder there is just going to keep a barrier um, for that cream. The next eyeliner I'm talking about is the cream or gel one. And the high-end one that I like is Max Fluid Lines. And they look like this. They come in a little pot. The low-end one that I like is L'Oreal Hicks Cream Eyeliners. And they also come in a pot like this. Now there's a couple different ways you can apply this. One way is to take um, just a cheap old eyeliner pencil and you can dip it into that pot. And then you can go along the lash line just like you would a pencil and just start out here, do short strokes and then you're just going to work your way in as far as you want to go. If you have smaller eyes, don't go into the tear duct because it's going to close your eyes off. You want to maybe go halfway, and if you're risky enough, you can go into about right there where your lashes stop. But don't go all the way in unless you're specifically, um, if you have larger eyes, or if you're going for a look like um, an Arab look, an Indian-inspired look, where they have that strong black eyeliner. Um, the other way you can apply it is to use a brush. And my favorite brush of all times is the Sonia Kashuk. Let's see if that goes in. There we go. The Sonia Kashuk angled brush. It has the bent um, handle right there, so it's easy to get right to your lash line without it smudging. You can get a perfect line. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Max uh, Fluid Line and Black Track. This is my go-to one. Sometimes I'll use the L'Oreal Hip. But what you're going to do the same thing is start out here. And hopefully you guys can see that. Do short strokes and just work your way in. 
Now for me, I have a little bit larger eyes and I like that really dramatic look. So I'm going to go all the way into the tear duct. And what you're going to do is just stop right there. And do you see with this brush how easy it is to apply? I have that eyeliner already on there and I didn't have to do much effort. So I recommend getting that brush and getting a um, gel or cream liner. They, they glide very easily over your eyeshadow, so that's probably my favorite kind to use. The last eyeliner I'm going to talk about is the liquid eyeliner. Now these are very strong. These are probably the most difficult for us to use because it's liquid and once it dries, it's set. And it's very hard to get off unless you use an eye makeup remover. So I don't recommend this for beginners. I'd recommend it for those who are used to putting on eyeliner. But my favorite kind is the Revlon Color Stay. And it comes in that little cone-shaped one. I like this because it has a felt tip. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You see how that's nice and pointed and it's firm, so when you apply it, it just doesn't go all over the place like some of the brushes do. My other favorite one, I know some of you are going to disagree, but I really like the Urban Decay liquid liners. I don't like the applicator as much, but I like it because they come in all sorts of different colors. They're, you know, they have a green, they have a red, they have purple, they have blue, and the fun thing is is you can use these on your eyelid as a base and it's almost like a liquid eyeshadow, so I think these are really fun. But I'm going to show you using the Revlon one. I'll do it on my other eye since my right eye is already lined. Okay, same idea. Take that um, that wand out, that felt tip, and you're going to kind of wipe it off a bit. You don't want any clumps or excess on the end of the tip. And starting, you're going to close your eye. Starting at the outer point of your eye, you're doing short strokes, and then you're doing, keep doing those short strokes, but work your way in. Just like that. And this will give you a very harsh, very dramatic black eyeliner, or brown, whatever color you use, but it's going to give you a very strong, very defined eye. And again, if you want it to wing out, you just need to bring it out. So start here, and then just wing it up. Just kind of flick your wrist. So that's how you're going to use that. I would only recommend using liquid on the upper lashes, not the lower, because it just it makes your eyes look more baggy and it brings your eyes down. It just makes them look very heavy. So if you're going to use liquid, just use it on the upper lashes. Um, it's great for doing retro looks, the pinup looks. I would definitely use liquid eyeliner for that. So there's the three eyeliners. Let me zoom out so I can talk to you guys for a bit. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, again, check the link in the side box, which is this way, I think. Anyways, <laughs> um, there will be a link to the site, and I'll have a review of the different eyeliners. I'll have pictures of them, and I'll also have a description on the pros and cons of those different eyeliners. So hopefully that will be helpful for you guys. So thanks for watching, and again, if you have questions or, or comments, um, just email me at marlena at makeupgeek.com. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.